Edinburgh University of Pennsylvania. Great things happen here. It's exciting to be able to tell students that there's a pattern of being successful right away. We have an amazing number of our students who have gone on to be teachers and school administrators, counselors, social workers, that are really having a, a professional and positive impact on our community. So it's not just one student, it's, it's knowing that our university is preparing the leaders for tomorrow. Well, I'll be doing junior field next spring, I'll be student teaching in the fall, and after that the sky's the limit when it comes to jobs. Ever since I was a little girl, I always was drawing. It was something that was even more than a hobby. It was almost an obsession. I would do it all the time. and It's just something I love. It got me through high school, and it was like my favorite escape. And now it's something that's kind of turning into a career because I'm like, wow, this is something I can actually do and get paid to do. When I do my job well is when I see students and comprehend and apply the concepts and the ideas and, and be able to, to, to see for themselves. There's something that clicks inside that, that all of a sudden becomes uh, when something that before was just images moving on a screen, and now um, these images take on a life that is actually breathed into a character, have a thinking process of its own. Get involved, so I yeah. mean, because if you, I mean, if you just hibernate, and you know, don't really get out there. You really have to get out there and get to know people and don't be afraid to, to get into clubs and, and all that because it'll help you in the long run and it'll build your confidence. No matter what you wanted to do, who you are, race, religion, whatever, you have a club or an organization, a group of people that you can relate to and have fun with. So you always feel accepted and that's what I really ultimately enjoy about Edinburgh. But now that they got the new Skipjacks location, um, there's so much more variety. There's, there's the E's ice cream, there's the Starbucks coffee, there's um, a, a, a great sub place that I go to all the time. My time at Edinburgh gave me every challenge imaginable. Personally, professionally, it prepared me to be a leader, it gave me leadership opportunities, it gave me an intense, and very broad education in the liberal arts. I can't say enough about Edinburgh and what it has meant to me in my life and what it will always symbolize to me, and that is opportunity. During my time at Edinburgh, I had the opportunity to be the first anchor of ENN, otherwise known as the Edinburgh News Network, which I understand has evolved into ETV. I have to say, my hands-on involvement in that student-run television station is what gave me the edge in this highly competitive field. I was able to start my internship with the knowledge of how a newsroom runs, which gave me a more productive internship experience and, in turn, led to my first job in television. I'm glad to see that a program like ETV is still growing strong at Edinburgh because it is one that will no doubt give students the experience they need. In the nursing program, it's not the traditional classroom setting. There is a great deal of theory and didactic that goes into our program. We also take our students into the hospital setting so that they can practice what they've been taught in the classroom setting. Um, we spend many clinical hours in the hospital and out of the hospital doing community work as well. Edinburgh will give you a chance to be successful, will give you a chance to stand out among the crowd because it is a smaller school and, and the students and the professors and the faculty care about being here. What I like best about teaching at Edinburgh University is the size of the classes. It allows us to have a very close interaction with the students. Education here at Edinburgh is basically about you as a student doing your part to get educated. Your teacher can teach you, your professor can teach you, but you have to do your part to learn. Some of our media grads don't stay in television. Uh, they perhaps started out in television, but they end up in public relations positions and advertising positions in major senior level managerial uh, positions. So after being in the news business for 17 years, the blessing out of all of this is being able to take all of the connections, all of the skills that I developed over those years, and to be able to use them in a way that I'm able to talk about things that are really important to me, to my family, and I hope to other busy women and families. 
uh, the walking tapes with Leslie Sansone, the magazine for busy women, busy families, again with the goal of trying to make your life easier. It's called At Home with Jennifer and it's been very successful so far. But boy, being able to do all of these creative things and to be able to spend this much time with my family, which is the most important job, is just incredible. I feel really blessed. While I was here, quite by accident, kind of, I stumbled on computer animation and just fell in love with it. And upon graduation, I actually had contacts with several big studios. I got a firm offer from Wilbit Studios in Portland, Oregon. I worked there for about three years and went down to LA, worked on a lot of television and film projects. Being a liberal arts college, you know, I took drawing classes, I took ceramic classes, I took painting classes, and so I was able to experience a lot of different mediums and was able to pull those experiences and techniques into the computer. University of Pennsylvania. Great things happen here.